outside of Waco, Texas, some of the best milk and dairy products you will ever taste are produced. They're made at a dairy called Milking, and part of our sister show, Taste Texas, Amy Kushner and Garth Blackburn got a chance to go behind the scenes there and see what it's all about. Take a look. Beginning to end, you guys do everything from here. So you're not buying from source product elsewhere. Every ounce of milk that comes out and every bite of cheese is 100% milk king. Is that right? Yes, we've raised every cow. We, we, uh, we do purchase and we bring in feed uh, sources if we have to have it for the cattle, if our nutritionist demands it. Um, we have a nutritionist come in once a week and he tells us if they need more protein, this and that. We have a little bit of alfalfa coming in from Colorado right now, for instance, and it is all non-GMO. Our protein source is actually peanut meal, and it's coming in from a peanut uh, producer in Gorman, Texas, about, you know, 60 miles away. This is a 300-gallon processor. Um, it will it'll process uh, 300 gallons in about two hours. Um, it, we heat the milk to 145 degrees for 30 minutes. Cows like me. Oh, actually not so much. They see the white chef coat. <laughs> I mean, these are about as friendly as friendly gets. These brown ones are jerseys, jersey crosses. This is a brown Swiss and these black and white ones are Holsteins. The parlor is the term used for the area where the animals actually get milked. Just peach and pull. Peach and pull. He said peach and pull. That's not, that's not bad. Good job. This mama's pull. We used to milk 550. When we started this other business, we scaled back to 120. That's the new and improved way to do it. Oh. What was that? Squeeze and pull? No, pinch and pull. Pink. That's what he said pinch to me. Pinch and pull. It, yeah, Pe but pinch. in Texas we say pinch. <laughs> Pe pinch and pull. Who says pinch? I've never heard that. People in pinch? the country say pinch. Come on. That in makes the country, me not you want milk pinch. ever again. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. But no, no. they're cute. And and, and, and honestly, the, the cycle continues. And we we love our milk. We love our cereal. So yeah, milking, that looks fun. Could you ever be a farm girl, Amy? I think I'd like to try that one day. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Like okay. retire on a farm. Mm -hmm. you and Bill? You, I you think there's my... something very <laughs> wonderful and dreamy about it's, it's, the piece. You know, both of my grandparents yeah. on both sides were Iowa farmers. So mm -hmm. I was a kid growing up oh, in nice. Minnesota. We'd drive down there and spend a couple of weeks with each of them. And I had great memories of being on the farm with with everything, you yep. know, just in, in going out pheasant they have hunting with my grandma. Really cool. Teeth strainers. <laughs> no, that's what we do and improve. Doing that's by like hand. Back in the day, that's new stuff. Doing by hand, you know, <laughs> yeah. Well, with the my, chickens, the pigs, everything yeah. is great. Yeah, my dad was a cattle rancher, so I grew up in the summers working cattle, so I got a good taste of the country life. I'm a city girl, but I, I got the country life too. And it is so peaceful. I love being out but here. But I tell you, when I, I saw the baby be, cows, yeah. all I could think about was veal, but you didn't like that. No, I didn't like veal. With a little A1 sauce, I'm ready. Talking about meat, I'm like, oh, look how cute the babies are. <laughs> the little babies. I'm with you, Amy. <laughs> but surprisingly, Ryan and I had talked about farm life someday. He's like, but who would go get your sushi? I'm like, you would. It would just take a little longer. You just catch it. You just right? catch That's the why sushi. you got to move north, like somewhere close to 75. So you just you jump on 75 and then hightail exactly. it to Dallas. Okay, we have some fun things ahead with Mr. Kevin Sorbo. He's going to stick around. I hope you will too. Oh. We'll be right back after break. Uh oh. Oh yeah, we have.